The Minister for Civil Aviation, Mr. Honorable uh, Ayaz Said Kayum, Minister for Trade, Mr. Fires Coyle, members of the Diplomatic Corps, Chairman and Directors of uh, the Fiji Airways Board, uh, Andre, and management and uh, staff of Fiji Airways, ladies and gentlemen. Bula, and a very good afternoon to you all. Ladies and gentlemen, on the 6th of March, I was here in the West to receive Fiji's first batch of COVID-19 vaccines. The pilots that uh, flew those uh, life-saving shipments were Fiji Airways pilots, and they were able to fly through the pandemic because this new Fiji Airways Aviation Academy has been serving the nation well before uh, this official opening. Most of us are not experts in aviation certification processes. Those who are know that pilot training is not a one and done deal. To retain their current status, pilots have to keep up with the new trend and knowledge in the aviation industry and continually maintain their skills. That uh, first flight, carrying our first crate of vaccines, was piloted by Captain Samuela Tavana Bunua, and he was assisted by First Officer Peniti Koyovoli and Second Officer Aminiasi Kunangando, all of whom completed their certification at this academy in the weeks before that flight. Had we not had this academy open, they would have had to do their in-service training overseas, costing time that we simply did not have to spare throughout the pandemic and that we shouldn't have to spare in the future. Instead, our pilots uh, made use of this academy to keep themselves airworthy and as a direct result, deliver vaccines that have kept their fellow Fijians out of harm's way. Thanks to the very first batch of vaccines and the dozens more that uh, followed, Fiji is becoming the safest it has been since the pandemic started. Now that 80% uh, of adults in Fiji are fully vaccinated, we can gather here in our seats tonight on, uh, uh, and to celebrate this academy. In parks across the country, Fijians can now play sports again. We can open our businesses and places of uh, work and worship, move and associate with far greater freedom and prepare ourselves to reopen to the world. There's a lot I could say about the benefits of this new academy and what it is. It's uh, state-of-the-art facilities and simulators, both for the A330 and my favorite plane, the 737 MAX. It's uh, educational possibilities. <laughs> it's resources for pilots and flight attendants. Andre, Andre has walked us through the technical details and it's all very impressive. But I think that looking back on what this academy has already done uh, tells us uh, the most about what it can do for Fiji and the Pacific. Because it was only vaccines that our certified pilots have flown to Fiji. Our national airlines has operated more than 355 repatriation flights to reunite Fijians and visitors alike with their families and loved ones. For one full year, we safely repatriated over 46,000 Fijians, 46,000 Fijians from overseas. Between April, 20, uh, 20, April 2020 and July 2021, Fiji Airways flew almost 13,000 tons, 13,000 tons of Fijian exports like seafood, agricultural produce, kava, turmeric, garments, and other products that's kept farmers growing, harvesters harvesting, packers packing, government makers sowing, and fisher folk fishing. Fiji Airways uh, freighter services have flown in 285 tons of essential life saving medical supplies used by the government in the fight against COVID 19, including COVID 19 test kits, consumables, ventilators gene expert machines, fever tents, testing equipment, medicines, 
and others. You may remember the uh, OSMAT and New Zealand MAT uh, and who and sorry WHO medical teams that aided our pandemic response on the ground in Fiji. They flew here on Fiji Airways. Fiji Airways wasn't profiting of any of these flights. They ran them at cost because Fiji needed its national airline fully enlisted in this national effort. And it is not the Fijians who have benefited when the airline of New Caledonia needed to keep their pilots certified. They came to Fiji and they came to this academy. Moving forward, this academy is open to any pilots in the region and internationally who seek its services. I also urge other Pacific Island uh, airlines to send their would-be and current pilots and their airline and regulatory authorities to Fiji to train here in this modern facility, which is as good as any in the industry. Anyone from anywhere in the world can train here. We can elevate second officers to first officer, uh, officer positions and first officer to captains through a faster process. But a faster process is still <coughs> excuse me, a rigorous process and all certifications are carefully carried out at the academy by our local senior check and training captains who are highly skilled, highly experienced, cap approved pilots. All of this decreases the need for expat pilots in the Pacific. Pacific pilots should be flown by Pacific people. These are well paying jobs that perform a vital service to our region. We have the pool of talent. We simply needed the resources to put Fijians and other Pacific Islanders in the captain seats. And this academy brings world class aviation education in Fiji's own backyard. Countless young people dream of being flying Fijians. I'm not uh, only talking about young people who see themselves on the national rugby team. I'm talking about those who dream of taking to the skies as pilots. If you're a young person in Fiji who wants that for yourself, please know that it need not be a dream. It should be an aspiration because you can learn your profession here. New fixed devices uh, just installed at this academy will allow Fiji Airways to offer training for students right out of the flying school, as you've heard Andre say. And the benefits go beyond pilots. Cabin crew can train here under the guidance of uh, qualified senior Fiji Airways trainers and personnel. And Fijian engineers are maintaining the facility and its assets. That means more jobs, more income, and all of it stays in Fiji. Fiji Airways is to spend around $40 million per year, sending its pilots and cabin crews abroad for this training. All that money is now staying in our people's pockets. The local economy around Nandi benefits, Fiji benefits, the Pacific benefits as well. And this academy is now ready to serve the nation on the cusp of a new dawn of tourism. We plan to welcome our first flight of tourists on the 1st of December of this year, starting from a list of travel partner countries that include uh, among others, Australia, New Zealand, the USA, and Singapore, where Fiji Airways flies directly. We are going to manage tourism's revival in step with the carefully formulated protocols that uh, keep us a COVID-safe country. And Fiji Airways has been a AAA partner to govern by setting the industry standard in COVID-safe practices. Our national carrier has earned the highest possible Skytrax five-star COVID-19 airline uh, safety rating and the diamond certification by the Airline Passenger Experience Association, or APEX for short. And because we kept our eye on the long-term prospects of the country and committed to maintaining the Fiji Airways fleet, we are ready to open our runways and welcome tourists to travel safe areas throughout the country. If some politicians had it their way, we wouldn't have the planes in Fiji left to fly anyone. Their short-sightedness would have inflicted permanent scars on our aviation sector. When our borders reopen, 
huge chunks of tourism revenue would fly out of the country and into the accounts of foreign carriers. Instead, ladies and gentlemen, we committed to our national carrier through a challenging time, and today, Fiji Airways is ready. Its fleet is ready. And these academy halls are open to current pilots and cabin crew, and those who dream of one day taking to the skies. Thanks to that foresight and the uh, efforts of many with us this evening, we can celebrate the future of flight in Fiji and the Pacific. Not only the resumption of tra regular travel to our shores, but the next generation of flying Fijians who will keep our region connected to the world for decades to come. Thank you and God bless you all.